Lara Burum. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the game, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like to apologize. I need to tab out just to make sure that that's not being hi that's not highlighted any more. Hmm. Sorry, I was just reading. Um, <laughs> there was. I'm sorry. Somebody you followed a while back has a weird username. And I just realized that it was weird. So if I remember correctly, and I don't, of course, we were going to defeat the beast. The last of the three souls who linger too long in this world. We require a fourth soul. And that fourth soul will allow us to uh, open up the door. And... Uh, in that door, I imagine there will be some form of grappling hook. And with the set of grappling hook, we will be able to uh, go ahead and grapple around at the speed of sound. Places to go, follow the rainbow, yeah, 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 you know. You know how it goes. You know. I need to, I'm, I'm, so, there's a path, oh, actually, probably shouldn't, well, I, no one watches anyway, right? There's a Pathfinder meme contest, right? And I think I've got a good meme for it. But it requires that, um, the new Sonic format that just came out, right? Because, um, you know, the Sonic movie, um, the new one's coming out with, uh, Idris Knuckles Elba, and... Uh, there's like a scene where he stops like Judah you you think I need your power something like that effect I don't I don't know how he talks then actually watch the thing I just seen I've seen a very small amount of it especially when it, uh, they have like the version of uh, knuckles who is U Ugandan you know, that's that you know I think that's exactly why I, I say him speak like that because he's Ugandan knuckles right so obviously I can only ever think of Ugandan accented knuckles which is a uh, Used to be a thing there. Not a thing anymore. Is there a... No. You still got the little out bump. Let's grapple a cross point, but we can't have a grappling hook yet. Maybe we'll been over. I'm just trying to... Because the problem is, right... It's been a little bit, right? We did take a little bit of a break. You know, we... The royal we, of course. Because you and me were one. One big family. Blech. Family sucks. No. Well, I think family you choose is probably better than family you have. Because family I have is pretty shitty sometimes. As far as I'm going into it. Uh, we've already got the key from here. We don't have a key currently. So. Yeah. The last place to go, I guess, is in that door. There is that up there, but I don't know how to get up to it. Other than the obvious answer of through the fucking door forehead. Through the door forehead, lol. Yeah, so there's a, there's a uh, lightable thing over there. I'm guessing you have to have the. Um, Grumbling hook to get to it. It's just the. I think you're supposed to talk to the old door lords. But, um, you know. Can't even do Cap'n. Hmm. I'm actually at a loss. Right? Because, um. And so we tried. We tried to go to that. Hmm. I can't help but feel like I'm missing obvious. Because... There isn't a clear way for me to go here. Fuck.
At least I'm not seeing a clear way to go. And you have to light those fires. Who's here? Oh. Okay, that's right. We, we need to do something with this. But the door was locked. Because we need to grab one to get over there. Okay. Yeah, there's more to this room, though. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Go. <laughs> Just uh, really bad at firing. Really bad at firing. Okay, progress. Oh no, boss fight. I have forgotten all of their... <sighs> uh... <sighs> the old... The old issue with streaming. It's the second I get start streaming, I get tired. Ugh, got it. I, I genuinely... I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm fine though, we'll go. We'll keep going. I don't have any cheese to lose. Any reason to stop, nor any desire to stop, I want to play Death's Door, I would like to finish this game. Though, part of me, uh, an ever-growing chunk, feels that tonight will probably not be the night. It'll probably be two more streams if I have to guess, right? And what's gonna happen is the same thing that happens every time I play one of these games, right? Is that, uh, you know, I'll get to the last boss and um well it's rather I, I'll essentially this tonight right I'll probably get almost the last boss tomorrow I'll at the beginning of the stream get to the last boss and um you know It'll basically be like, you know, like, a, probably like, at the very most, an hour-long video of me getting to the boss, and that's about it. Oh, just shut that into a wall. A big old fucking dummy. That, that, that happens very commonly with games like this for me. Just because I always have, like, just, I have terrible timing. Terrible timing, terrible skills, no bills. It's so cold. Cold, cold. So very cold. Am I insulting a dead fucking ro raven? Crow? Crow raven? Creven? I don't think I actually have ever really explained what they are. Actually, you know what? It probably says Crow or Raven at some point. I would be willing to bet you at least there is some clear, obvious, you know, answer. Be careful, Living Reaper. For within this door is at least five whole butt plugs. And a half one. Don't ask. It's, uh, pretty fucking nasty. Actually, all, all the crows, all the ravens should talk like the, uh, that one raven from Billy and Mandy. You know, the, uh... And then they died! Right, he's like a sophisticated raven guy. He's wearing a little, the, you know, the generic, uh, guy sitting at a, like a fez and a bathrobe, I think. I don't think I've ever seen that guy. I think I've ever seen him just lunge into attack like that. Little boys. 
ring, pals. What if you just skip the uh, fights by, um, lighting the torches with your fire? That'd be such a fucking shitty bug. But it's a, what's a good bug, you know what I mean? Retarded brother. Then you know he's not actually a retard. He's just fucking stupid as shit. Screaming and making broad noises. God, I prefer to be dead. Fucker. I, I. You know what? I guess I quite literally asked for that, huh? Like, legitimately, I said I prefer to be dead, and then I died. It's... It's genuinely too fitting. Wow, I have never seen that happen before. And now I've taken damage. Wow, I walked into that. Ugh, it's that thing. You know. I'd like to blame the fact that I just started streaming. Right, but, you know, we all know it's just because I'm bad at video games. Please, thank you. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna mash some potatoes. Fucker! Good, eat shit. I didn't want to get near him again because I didn't want my potato to mash. I don't know what's with me in mashing potatoes and this game. I don't think I've ever referred to like getting the shit beaten out of you. Just like beaten to a bloody pulp as mashing potatoes. A gift to a fellow crow! Oh, that's me. <laughs> there you go. The answer to my question. To aid you on your quest. Is it racist that I can't tell the difference between uh, crows and ravens? Eh. Ironically, I think I'd be able to tell the difference in real life, just not in the video game. Right? Because there is no raven, right? So they're all crows. I also think that I don't assume that ravens are as smart as crows. Right? Are ravens... I know... I know, I started the other way around. Aren't, aren't, no, 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 you know. I'm trying to think. Right, um. It appears to be Reaper's Ben Logbook. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously impeded my investigation to the disappearance of the Reapers in the redacted region. 
The whole process of transferring to the new system tra of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. I found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the active re uh, reaping missions in the area have also been purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not reaped on time. Has not been reaped on time. It has to be a disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to souls if they remain alive past their death date. No, I'd like to explain to me, please. Is it just they grow grow bloated with age and whatnot? Or is there something more sinister? Because, to be fair, while they were all negative, you know, beings, I would assume they'd be like that with or without the, the soul bloat. That Vega reckons that something's big's going on here. Uh, uh, that Vaga reckons that something big's gonna happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? What the fuck's Vaga? Oh, the Vagabond? I don't know why, why I was playing it. And these, I don't know why I was anyone was complaining. These things are adorable. They like the same TV shows as me. Tell me, have you ever seen a, the mountain? If you ever get a chance, try and explore one. What a wonderful creation they are. Titans of nature. I want to save up for a, um... I want to save up. Save up, save up. For a thing. A thing with stuff. A stuff with things. A stuffed thing, so thingly full of stuffy things, that stuffed things barely even things the stuff to cover the, the stuff the things that are stuffily thinking. And this thing he's stuffing stuff things. Oh. Okay, good to know. Isn't really necessary, but you know. Oh, alright. No. Is that Genuinely not the same level, huh? I guess it makes sense, because you clearly need to do it from here, but still. It also really wouldn't have benefited me to have gone to that one first, so... I don't know why the game is so anal about it. Here lies Lord Opengate, the third in the lineage of the lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. Their rulers skilled in delegation. They spent many years expanding their knowledge while traveling this vastness of space. I like space. I saw some uh, content update stuff for, um... Oh shit! No, no! Well, now we have to go all the way back up there to talk to him. God damn it. Uh, I thought, see, what I thought was going to happen was you stand on top of it, you talk to him, he goes, Oh, you know, I could open the gate for you. And then you like, you're like, Oh, thank you, sir. And then he drops you through the fucking hole. It didn't even open this gate. Didn't even open the gate that's here. What a jackass. I'm not really upset, to be honest. I'm just annoyed that I have to walk all the way back up there to talk to him. And I guess technically it isn't necessary, but, you know, at the same point, I don't want to miss out on something that I could have, you know. Greetings, young Reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. You, it would indicate that the course of events that which started from the formation of Death's Door has led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it's also indi indi indicative of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely universe, uh, the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young Reaper. I can sense victory in your future. I don't know if there's no abandon talking to them, but I feel like you probably should, you know what I mean? Like, when in Rome, talk to the fucking ghost boy. Every you know, everybody knows about the famous Rome Ghost Boy, right? I'm not breaking anybody's worldview here. Like you know, 
What kind of nutcase doesn't know about the famous Rome ghost boy? On the, the other side, right? Close over there, so. Oh. I'm guessing that these all open up once you uh, talk to a certain guy. But it's weird to let this one talk to him. He's, he's gone now. His ghost has moved on to brighter pastures and better places, and we've already been in here. We know this is a dead end. I'm wasting mine and your time at this point now. Fuck. No, it's fine. So it's quite alright. I do think it. Ah, oh, nope. Nope, we had to do it then. God fucking damn it. Gee whiz, Bob. I don't understand why ever you'd ever do that, eh? You know, it's just not really cool to do to a pal or a buddy or a friend of mine. God, sorry, I'm remembering something that I do like. I, you know, I don't think it was amazing. Thing I'm thinking of, but you know, I'm thinking of. So I, I've been, of course, uh, of course, it says. I've been uh, watching whenever, I, so whatever I do something online, so like not online TM, but you know, whenever I play the video game, I like to play video game. Uh, I like to play like you know something in the background. That's not exactly you know, it's not exactly a. Uh, World Shattering Revolution to anybody who's ever played a video game. But, um. Uh, I've been recently watching Netflix Junk, essentially. And Junk, it, it truly is. A lot of it is just no good. Um. But normally I watch a lot of anime and stuff, right? So. I watched through all of Eden Zero that was on um, Netflix. Man, fucking hell. Of course it didn't bother me. It's because screaming out in the fucking hallway wasn't enough. One second. Let's talk about that. I just wanted to borrow Switch games. I will go through there first. The card key. Okay. Don't understand how that worked, but you know what? Sure. I refuse to question any further. Uh, we're going the other way, actually. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Brandon. You just went all this way. You solved the puzzle. You 
Open the door, you saved the princess. What are you doing? And the answer is quite simple. I'm clearly supposed to go that way. I am saying this will go every way, but you know. Burn some of her papers. His papers? I don't know. No clue what the thing's supposed to be. My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty, and mine alone. The Lord who created me had a grand delusions about fate and purpose. But fate did not bind me to death's door, and duty did. No one could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anachronism of it that is anachronism that is death. When my time finally grew due to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their reign may have destroyed the balance and tried uh, I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Here lies Lord Deadbolt, the fourth in the lineage of Dora's lords. Their rule is dark, but produced efficiency among reapers. Overbearing ruler, concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. So... What I'm understanding here is that I fucked this, and now I can't go back. Wow, I'm really fucking on a roll here in this room, huh? Just really, really knocking them out of the park. Just doing a great bang-up job. Truly, the victor everyone desires. Why would... That was cool. You found some kind of signed contract? How exciting. So each door lord makes the next door lord with whatever ideals they have. So I think the third was the space one, right? So he thought a lot of space, fate, life, death, that kind of... that in that fashion, I'm guessing. <laughs> but, uh, who knows, truly. He did this. That's probably why it had us uh, open up this ladder. Because the game knew we'd be dropping our ass down here again. Oh, uh, yeah, so what I was talking about was, um, I watched this, uh, very, very, uh, I wouldn't say it was terrible, but I definitely wouldn't say it was great. Right, I'd say it was okay, you know. Uh, it was called Centaur World. I only watched it because I heard about it on, like, a stream I was watching, and people were saying, like, oh, haha, -ha, look, because you guys talk about centaurs, you know, here's a centaur-based you know, show that's coming out on Netflix. You guys can watch. You know, haha. -ha. I'm like, fuck it. You know, I heard about it. I'll give it a check out just because I like watching animation stuff. So, you know, it was okay. I wouldn't say it was great, but you know, it was okay. Sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving life, the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death, and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If the opportunity presents itself, child, ending the cycle would be what uh, would be what is a right to the, for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to the ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. Why even fucking, you know what, I'm, I'm with him. Why exist? Just die. Existence is pain, futile. A fleeting nothingness in the grand scheme of things. Right, that's what we're getting at, right? The pointness of final, or the finality of this pointlessness. I can only assume that's what he means. God, 
very edgy tonight. To be fair, playing a game about death and life and whatever. Hey, you got that? Uh, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. We wanted to hear it, I imagine. All right, here we go. I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating paradigm. A maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. Her fisherman love driven out of his mind. The hero will right the wrongs list of this crime. Great. We going now? Ooh, what do you think? Yeah, stunt silence. That's what I was expecting. All right then, I'll meet you further up the mountain. Don't get into any trouble on the way. At least, not without me. Take me away. Away from this mortal coil. I don't know. I need some health. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Nope, boss fight. Oh, I got the health. I had the health before the fight. The calm before the storm. Approaching the heart of a blizzard is never a safe thing to do. This way we're camp. See you soon. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Ooh. I think I caught a little bit on the edge there. Oh, I thought this was one of those, like... A lot of games like this kind of do that thing where it's like one fucking lone enemy staring off in the nothingness and you're like, you talk to him and he's like, Wow! Man, I, uh, I'm not actually evil. I'm just kind of here, you know? Just like you, I'm a person with my own hopes, dreams, desires, wants, blah, blee, blue, blue, blah, blee, blah, 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 blah. And I always fall for it because I always look... Well, actually, like, right... Hall had something similar where it was like one guy staying at the edge of a uh, pier and... I don't think he was friendly either. He just kind of fucking beat the shit out of you. But, I mean, I'm assuming you were bad at the game, which, um... I don't think I died to him. I just think I killed him. But I do think he got the first hit in. To be fair, though, right? The enemies in Hollow Act really fucking, really fucking this up, huh? Not lightable. The enemies in Hollow Knight do have a certain, like, um... They're insane, right? They're like, well, not insane. They're like rotted. The story to Hollow Knight is very weirdly convoluted, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it's it's very dense for what the game looks like. You know what I mean? The game does not appear to have the level of complexity that you would uh, would well that is in it. It's a lot. It's a very like um. I think it's convoluted is kind of the right word for it. Story. I mean, if you look, if you're interested, look at the wiki. Um, I would explain it in my very weird way, but I am not quite sure anybody wants to hear me talk about how the Worm King shed off his worm body to fight the sun, who was Jesus. Well, he wasn't. He's was just the sun, and everybody forsake the sun for the king, and you know, eventually they all lost their touch with themselves. I don't fucking remember. It is really just that nuts, though. Oh, the Vagabond. Welcome to the camp of free crows, old friend. You knew you'd make it here eventually, even if you need a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> we are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Doors. We do not want unnatural mortality. If we must come at the cost, uh, if that, if it must come at the cost of our lives, what is the point of living forever? If it's to be as a slave, no, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb even higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared for, uh, before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here any time you like. Greetings, for old crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things, and its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. Foretold your arrival and your destiny.
I like how they have little bird homes. The forest, where it's old grow, it's an honor to meet you. Did you find uh, any of our shrines on your, along your journey? It seems there are still ten shrines you've yet to find. I'm sure they'll help your journey and fight with the beast truck atop the mountain. Yeah, probably would help, but you know, at the same rate, lazy. I don't want to fucking spend all day searching. Welcome, for it's old crow. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. For even the uh, we even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. So is there a way to plant this seed, or you guys just fucking have a seed in here for funsies? We all abandoned our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. The cycle must begin anew. I don't understand what was at the camp that I want to return to. All things considered. I need some more monies to buy more uh, souls. No. To buy more fucking goodies. I would like to get an upgrade to my damage. So that I may damage everything. Uh, was it just this over here? This way to the frozen canyon. Exercise caution. Exercise caution. Real quick though. Oh, it's the bark. Whew, it's uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up here. Perhaps you're still wheezing. You must be pleased as a punch though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up in the mountains? Who knew? They have so many great stories about their lives up here. Especially about the beasts up the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration for Honor Adventure. I think my next song may be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. Okay. Let's go check out the other area first. And we'll go there. Because that says the beast's lair, which would mean that's probably the fight with the beast. Nope. Okay. Wow. Really, uh, really fucked that one up, huh? Green shine. Why is there a mustachioed face on this on the shrines, huh? Oh. I think we all know what's gonna happen with that last one. It's not gonna happen. Fuck!
I wonder why... I'm guessing those are right, like the free croaks, their brains. Right. Free thinkers, man. Free thinkers, man! You know, you just gotta use your brain, bro. Just gotta... Oh, fuck! No, there's a thing there! Ah! You spin me right around, baby, right around like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reminds me of um that one video of GTA Five where like they spawned in a bunch of like those bikers and then turned themselves to a biker. They're like, Bleh. this is the blip meeting blip. Everyone in favor say Brett. You found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. No, oh, thank you. Was that was that it? <laughs> was that was that it? I think it was the free crows, a breakaway faction of reapers who have chosen man do himself medallion such as this one picks the ancient god who believe perfect the fall of the Lord of Doors. Oh, is that who the mustachioed man is? Who's that the mustache you bad the bad of the mustache? Mustache must must you ask the mustache man? If anything. I don't understand. I, I genuinely don't understand what that's about. Oh wait, no. No, I was gonna say, maybe there's another one off this side, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's just silly. Oh, okay, wait. Uh... Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, I get that they're being blown out by the winter cold, but, like... They don't seem like they're on long enough of a timer or two. I don't they think they're on a long enough timer to, um... Say that they're at, like, some kind of puzzle. Like, because everything on a... Like, you know, puzzle timers would need to have, you know... I have to have a little time between. Fucker. Mm. Yes! Play games goodly. Good at video game. Pretty good, actually. Okay. How do I fucking light them? They don't stay lit. Is it about order?
should probably come down here if I just... Nope, can't go down for some reason. I'm guessing there's supposed to be an order to it, but so far I'm not seeing an obvious tell as to what the order would be. You know what I mean? They're normally like, you know, some kind of visual indicator. And one might be able to tell. Because there's no way that, you know, there's no way I'd be fast enough to get all these around the map. Wait before one of those goes out, they just fucking go out instantly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, ooh. Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. So a little bit of bad weather has never deterred me before, especially with the beast so close now. What it looks like, based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild, I can't wait to see you fight it. Nope. Do I have to stop the wind before I can, like, these... Well, right, because the, the issue is, right... There's either one of two solutions. Ha! <laughs> How? Either one of two solutions, right? Either... A fucking bitch. Wow. Insurance. Quality insurance. Quality assurance insurance. Insuring quality through quality insurance. Insuring quality in the most quantifiably qualifiable way. Qualifiably quantifiable way. I don't know what I'm saying. What do they just kill themselves? They just straight up die, yo! That's fucked up! Fuck. Me. Wow, he managed to still fire the shot from his damaged state. Oh, I'm dead. Just, just throw fucking all the enemies at me, why don't you? Just, just keep throwing them at me, dog. Why even fucking have skill? <laughs> I'm sorry. I get upset when fucking enemy spam is on the, on the table. Which, you know, it could be worse enemy spam, but at the same rate, just fucking... Yeah, just put it in a laser room with fucking enemies, man. Why not just... I'm 
you know, just fucking throw all the things at once. Nice. I'm gonna get a soldier killing him. That's bullshit that I don't get soldier from falling off the edge. I lured that child to his death. At my hands. So if they're wearing, why are they wearing crow hats? Because if they're wearing crow hats and I'm a crow, I should be their fucking god. God damn you. Damn you to the hell you deserve. Damn you, I love what I don't believe. Fuck no. I was trying to think, like, lyrics to a fucking version of the song for, like, you know. What, what is that song? Because I got time and she's got freedom. That break even, I'm assuming. I ain't called break even. When a heartbreak, no, it don't break even. Even. No, I don't, I'm not trying to sing good. J just so we're clear, right? I don't think I've ever attempted to sing good in my life. You know. I just beat my ass, man. That's death. Motherfucker! Fucker! Dirty fucker! I'm gonna have to do that fight again, you know I'm going to. Cause why ever have checkpoint? What's checkpoint except for baby thing? Only baby need checkpoint. It's very upset. Very upset. I'm quantifiable upset. Hi, did you want to do that thing over again? Well, it shouldn't have been singing, uh, break even. You fucker, just don't do that ever. Stop. No, you're not allowed. Only I'm allowed to deal damage. Wee. Wee. Oh? Oh! Eh, he's committed suicide. Honorable Seppuku. I reckon I don't think that's actually. You, have, you can't just commit suicide and call it Seppuku. Apparently, that doesn't work in the fucking state of Georgia. Why Georgia? Specifically, I don't know. I don't live in Georgia. You know, honestly, I'm a Floridian. Born and raised. I was talking with one of my co-workers today. Wait, so I talked... I've talked about how I, um, deliver... You know, I deliver packaging. I pick packaging. Packages. Packaging would be, like, the box that you ship the package in. I, I deliver the, the your final good, whatever you ordered from Amazon. I, well, not Amazon specifically. Well, sometimes Amazon specifically. But, um... What I mean to say is, you know, I deliver packages. And I was talking with the person who's been helping me recently because I it's Christmas and we have a lot of extra work. So they hire helpers to come on. Just skip you, my friend. You can... I just want to do this again. Yep, that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't stop and play with you. Not just ran to open the door. Uh, so we we're talking about like, was, you know, there was an open sewer hole, and she's like, "Oh, you know, bitch, better fucking sewer, super, 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 super down there, you know." And I'm like, "Well, you know, we're in Florida, so it wouldn't be a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Those guys live in New York." You know, in Florida, it's probably like that. You know, the adolescent 
redneck ninja gators. Or no, sorry, uh, adolescent mutant ninja gators, something like that. Where they're like, you know, it's four alligators, right? Actually, probably three alligators and a crocodile. You know, just because Florida does have both. You know, so three alligators and a crocodile, and um. They've all got like redneck nicknames. It's like one's Billy Bob, one's uh, Joe. There's a Cletus, and then like um, Jim Bob, Billy Bob, Jim Bob, Joe, and Cletus. Fucking hell. And then um, instead of Splinter, right? They have like a they they call him Master Crystal, and it's just a fucking guy who whacked off his mind on crystal meth. Oh great, cool, 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 cool. I'm so glad that I'm over here now. I genuinely have no fucking clue what this puzzle's about. And I really wish it wasn't over here. Yeah, up is where we want him to be. Yeah, so it's just like, you know. It's that, but then, so, um. One of them has a shotgun, right? Because that's an obvious redneck gun. Another one's got a chainsaw. And then the last two have, like, um... One of them's got a... Uh... One of them's got a, a banjo. And one's got one of them blowing jugs, like like a moonshine jug that he, like, you know, he uses as an instrument. And so, like, two of them are constantly playing instruments then beating the shit out of, like, their enemies with the instrument. Right? So, like, you know... And the other one's just got a shotgun, you know. So, it's... The fight scenes, they're probably, like, a lot more violent, you know, given the fact that one of them has a shotgun, but, you know. And it's like, you know, one of them's playing, they, basically, one, like, the two with the instruments are, like, playing the, uh, the fight music. And, um, you know, every once in a while, like, an enemy would be close enough and they just kind of, like, donk him on the head with the jug or smack him with the banjo. Maybe the banjo has, like, spikes. It's like reminiscent of a, um, and I know that was not a reason to get this fucking reference, but, um, if you watched the C-Team D&D show, uh, the war loots they had, like, some of the characters were, like, fighting bards, I, I think it's really cool, like, so there was, like, um, I don't know if they chose the, because it was, like, it was a non-player character, right, so, um, but I think one of them did have a war loot, like, one of the guest characters did, but it's essentially, like, a loot. Right, you know, obviously, generic D&D bard loot, but the loot was like a Swiss Army knife of weapons. It was very interesting, like, you know, it's cool concepts. Especially because there are, like, you know, a lot of, um... There are, like, at least, there's, like, the, Col the College of Swords, right, for D&D. Uh, &D, which would include, like, you know, weapon mastery. So I, I think that'd be cool, like, you know... It's just, uh, something you can upgrade with, like, other weapons. Like, you just eventually put more, like, fucking weapons inside of it or something. And, um, I don't know. Pretty neat idea. I, d I did like that series a lot, to be honest, right? They, they found a good mixture of serious and funny. And I very much like that. Because, like, the problem is, right, so the d and hero I'm playing with current, well, I was playing with currently, I don't know if, you know, I'm thinking about leaving it because I can't play on Tuesdays, really, and we've tried to play on Tuesdays, and it's not really working the way I wanted to, and not to mention, um, I don't know if it's the DM or the player group or what specifically, I think it's the DM for me, that I just don't like the way he DMs, and I think maybe it's because I'm spoiled, because, like, I watch a couple of very, like, I'm very picky with what I watch when it comes to D&D &D stuff, right? Because, like, I don't... I don't watch, like, Critical Role, for example. Like, I, I started watching, like, the first episode of Critical Role. And then they said, oh, you know, we don't care at all about the rules. I'm like, well, then I kind of don't want to watch you. You know what I mean? Because, like, I think, right, you can... Right, like, so... One of the best DMs I can currently... Well, what, like, I only really watch... Like I said, sorry. 
Let me get a thought out here, edgewise, and then maybe we can turn what I'm trying to say. Fucking bitch! Oh, it's the fire flowers, not even the fucking fire. That's right, they're not fire. Like, I was like, when are the fire mages? No, fire flowers. Um, the other D and D group I watch, right? So I watched the C team, right? That's um, if you're interested, right? It's on Penny Arcade on YouTube, all of their shit. And they did a couple cool, like they did a couple cool one shots, like for uh, I, there was one for like a system called Tales from the Loop, which I very much like that system. I like the world it's in. But I, again, I don't really have any friends to play stuff with, so... No fucking Tales of the Loop for me! Haha! -ha, no D&D for me! Hee hee ho ho! Uh... All semi-depression otherwise. Uh... The other one I watch is High... Fucking bitch! It's High Rollers, right? Um, their DM, Mark Sherlock Humes. Uh, very good. Very, very, very good. You know... And they are a lot more on, like, you know, they, they have silly moments, right? But for them, it's a lot more of, like, a serious campaign. And, um, currently they're finishing up their second campaign. So if, you, if you're, you know, if you're like me, and you have a lot of free time on your hands, i.e., I don't have any free time, but when it comes to listening things, because while I'm working, I just play, like, podcasts right now. Um, I know their second campaign is on Spotify. The first one you have to watch off YouTube. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. But, um, they're both very good campaigns. And they, they, they are a lot more serious in terms of, like, story-wise. They have silly moments here and there, and I like that. I think it's fine, you know, obviously. The game can't be 100% serious 100% of the time, you know, people are, like, having jokes and all that. And that's fine, right? And they have, like, they, they tend towards the more serious. Especially because I, I like that, you know, um... Everything they do is, for the most part, within the rules of D and D. Or um, the DM is, like I said, the DM is very good. He uh, does a lot of the, not a oh, well, actually, yeah, I'd say he does a lot of homebrewing. I think the first campaign wasn't as homebrew heavy, but the second campaign was, and it made for a very good story. Like, they, they're both very good stories. They both follow the rules fairly. Uh, not religiously or rigidly, but very good. Right? They, they use, you know, stuff that feels balanced. Did I even need to go over there again? Oh, yes, no, I, I had to go this way because I opened the door last time. And, okay. I remember now. Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. And he's... Uh, well, at least we know now for next time, when I eventually die again, because, you know, the enemies over there are throwing fucking firebombs at me from, you know, downtown. And he's throwing the firebomb across the map! Uh! No, uh... But, um... I think High Rollers is a very good d, &D stream. And those are the only two I've really watched. Um much of, if any. Because, like, like I said, I... Like, you know, obviously, whenever somebody thinks of, like, you know, oh, good D&D, right? They think Critical Role, right? Or, like, you know, one of those big... Fucking hell. Think, like, D&D streams, they think Critical Role, right? Because that's one of the ones, like, oh! Oh, you know, need stuff for your campaign? Sorry, I'm about scratch my eye. Need stuff for your campaign? You steal from Critical Role! Haha! -ha, do you steal that from Critical... You know, and, and, um... I just don't really like Critical Role. I know, I know, hipstery bullshit, whatever, Brandon, but like. Son of a bitch. Fuck! Mm. I think I need 300 more before I can get the upgrade, but I don't know if it's 1,800 or 2,000. Like, I know it's under 2,000, I think. So we'll wait. Ugh. But, you know, the second they start up, I'm like, oh, yeah, we're not going to fuse the rules at all, basically. You know, the D&D system, I don't very much, you know, I, I'm just going to... It's it's about having fun. And I'm like, well, yes. Right, like, I'm, I think... <sighs> you know, the rule of cool is one thing. Where, like, you, you know, if you allow a character to do something that's cool and it's not overly ridiculous and blah, 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 you know. Within reason, I'm okay with the rules being bent, you know. 
I'm okay with them being bent, not broken. You know what I mean? We're something that could reasonably happen, or it's not, you know, it's not ridiculous, but it's it's in, it's something cool, like like real cool. You know, that's why it's called cool. You know, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's me, right? I I just like the rules. One of the things I find so interesting about, like, well, interesting, one of the things I like about games like D&D &D and, you know, Pathfinder to a lesser extent, because Pathfinder, I think, you know, the problem is I don't, like, I read the D&D &D rules. D&D &D is very simple. All things considered, 5e is not an overly complex system, and you know, that's why some people don't like it and prefer Pathfinder or uh, Forgotten, well, I think Forgotten Realms is Pathfinder, but, or D&D 3.5. Right, and I can understand that. I can respect if you have, if you know, if you like more rules. The issue is I'm only smart enough to remember a certain number of rule. You know what I mean? So, well, I do genuinely like the rules. I'm fine with a system that is complex enough to create interesting stories, but not hard enough that I have to, like, you know, get a minor, uh, a master's degree in it to, like, fucking Pathfinder. Like, I like Pathfinder, right? I genuinely do, but, you know, there's so much complexity to the rule set that I can't help but feel like I'm missing out on something by not knowing more of it. You know what I mean? Right, because like when I'm playing Kingmaker or Wrath of the Righteous, um, I think it's very, very uh, right, correct to say. I, I think it wouldn't be, you know, wrong to say that I'm not playing it. I, you know, I'm not playing it um, efficiently. You know what I mean? That's like, as much as I like the game. There are a lot of things I don't understand. Right, like, I think I, I get parts of it now, like, for example, the armor class rolls, why it changes so much, is because it's displaying the effects after, like, I don't know. It's hard for me to put into words when I'm not actively looking at the system. But, you know, uh, there are just, like, some things that I don't 100% get, or, you know. I'm guessing you need something here. Maybe it's been nighttime. Whatever. Uh, you know. But I find the uh, easier system like Pat, like uh, like D and D five E, or like Tales in the Loop, or um, another example of a good system I liked was um. It's a very simple one for like short games you play on you know, you're waiting for something it's called like um oh, fuck I don't remember my friend bought it right it was on a Kickstarter thing I know that the high rollers actually did a couple of one shots on it I don't know if it was just one or it was like a set but it was about a city of rivers right it's about like basically Venice but it was run by like five crime families I think it was like dust dusk city outlaws dusk I think that's it dust city outlaws. And that's a very good one. I like that. It's very easy to play if you got a couple friends. And um, it's a very cooperative storytelling kind of game. Uh, this is it. That's the beast. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to stay well out of the way and uh, take notes for my song. Good luck. You know. There was a, an Avatar game that was made recently. Betty. Okay. Well, Betty turns around very quickly. Actually, before I do anything else, I want to check what the uh, Betty achievement is. One second. Uh. Hmm. 
I don't think um I don't think there's one for Betty. Unless it's secret. Wow. Okie dokie. That's fine. Yeah. No, I don't know. Those are two D and D channels I recommend. High rollers and then uh, Penny Arcade. Penny Guard that you can just watch all the backlog. Because obviously they're well. As far as I'm aware, they're done for good. But like it's I, I don't know. I can't imagine uh, the DM stopping for good. But then again, I never really imagined it finishing. You know what I mean? I just avoid that. How am I supposed to avoid that? Oh, can I? I wonder if I can grip onto the skeletons or something. hard to fucking dodge that. It's just you have to pick a direction that is parallel to her rolling. Spend some of these upgrades, uh, these souls on an upgrade. I feel like I've now taken over the bottom desk with stuff. achievement that's what I wanted that one specifically. I'm just wondering if maybe... <sighs> one of the options, right, is to... We'll try it again. And maybe we'll go talk to that squid and he'll tell us some areas to go to to get the wrong place. Some areas to go to to get more upgrades and stuff. I don't know if we're ready, you know, I just feel like maybe I'm not doing so well in this mind and remember this and I'm missing. I have no clue what the fucking rule of this rolling out of the way is. I can't tell if the dodge roll means you avoid damage. I wish there was something to heal as well. I guess that's not a thing in every game, but you know. She actually had a fair chunk of damage on her. I feel bad for anybody who chose this one first. Fucking fuck off with the rolling, you dumb bitch. Uh, 
<sighs> the rolling is just so fucking nonsensical. Because the problem is, right, I, I think what it is is that when you're in that middle section of the rolling animation, you're invincible. Right, so that's why sometimes when I feel like I've definitely received damage. Damn it. Can't go for one one hit. I feel like she's not overly far away, but in the same place, I don't think she's anywhere good close. I also don't remember. I don't. Th well, I don't think a lot of the bosses have like a second phase. Fucker! Get. Mm. Mm. <sighs> You'd be cool, right? If um the seeds, you could just consume one straight up, right? Cause like, right? There's all these seeds. And obviously, you know, you can plant them for, you know, the flower that grows and causes you to heal, right? But if you could, like, single-use spend it, and then bam, heal. Because like, you don't have all that fucking much health. Which is why I think, you know, the enemies tend to not... Fucking... Yeah, you just fucking... Kill me instantly, I fucking hate you. Kill me. Oh yeah, cool. Secondary, you know, new fucking attacks. <sighs> Why doesn't it decide the fucking direction she rolls in instantly? That's the problem I think I have, right? Is that... The second she turns, I immediately go to dodge, right? Because, you know, you think, okay, she's turned. That's, she's going to roll in a forward direction. You know, but no, no, no. She turns, and then when she rolls, she chooses whatever direction you're currently in. Which, yeah, sure, that makes it fucking, you know, more of a challenge. The same rate, it really fucking sucks cock. I don't understand how that missed. I don't understand anything could miss her fucking giant ass hitbox, but you know what? Also, Also, I'd like to point out that I cannot imagine. I 
don't think it's doing any damage. What is rolling, man? What is rolling? Mm hmm Yep, yep. You sorry, you choose a direction that was too fucking, you know, two degrees off the god damn it. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Falling shit. That's cool. Yeah. I knew she would have a second phase. You knew she would have a second phase. Doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. I fucking hate you. Just let me get my fireball. I even do Kill me. Kill me, you dumb bitch. Kill me, you fucking dumb bitch. Kill me. Use your bullshit fucking rolling garbage. Where you don't even choose the direction you go into the fucking second you hit the ground. Pretty sure that the fucking, you know... The second I hit X, the direction I fucking go. The second I leave the ground, I pick the direction. Not I change mid fucking air. Oh, sorry, that would make the attack dodgeable. And we simply can't stand for a fucking fun boss fight. Maybe seeing Brandon, you said you were gonna talk to the fucking squid to see what, you know, secrets he could provide. Fuck you. <laughs> uh... Yep, 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 yep. I know you're mid roll, but uh, fuck you. Here's the damage, you know. If you just want to make her attacks undodgeable, we just we, we just figured it wouldn't really be fair for Betty if the player got to enjoy the fight. Also, we didn't think fucking reasonable dodge rules would make any sense, you know. There's only like three fucking frames you're invincible in the middle, and you're completely invincible in those frames, but the second you even consider that you're out of the roll, you're already at taking damage, okay? J just so we're clear. And I know I'm being mad for no reason. It's the things I'm saying actually probably are wrong and or have no fucking actual bearing and or reality, in grounding in reality. But guess what? Shut up. You gonna kill me? I want any chance of beating this tonight. Which I, I know it's not gonna happen. I don't know if the final fight is just a straight up let you know. Hey, yeah, you've opened the door, here's the fight. Or if it's its own dungeon. Let's go this way. I genuinely don't think we're finishing this tonight. 
in this point, I might tilt so fucking far that I might have to stop. Fuck off with the rules, you dumb fat bitch. Ah! Like, you, you watch her physically turn in mid air. It's nonsense. It's garbage. Just fucking die already. didn't fucking take unnecessary damage at some point during the fight. Yep, 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 Right, this isn't a game, right, because there's some games, right, where I will be 100% honest, I know a little bit more than I should when I go into something. And to be fair, right, like, like for example, Wrath of the Righteous, right? Playing that secondary campaign does lead to a little bit of spoiling stuff, some stuff for me, though I try to avoid it whenever possible, which is why I want would love to complete more. The problem is, right, I now currently, for the most part, don't really... Come on, you bitch. Kill me. I don't have a lot of time to play on my own. Right? I get, like, you know, maybe an hour or two of self-play. I'm playing myself? No. But I'm not going to play with other people. I mean, I don't have any friends. Uh, but what I mean is, um, you know... I get home at around, you know, well, today I got home around 4, right? Well, more around 5, really, but that's because I got off early. But, um, it's not very common for me to get off there. I normally get off around 6 or 7, right? And what happens is, like, you know, I get home, I take a shower, Chances are, right, my family has not prepared anything for dinner because they're fucking terrible. Right, to be fair, right, me living on my own didn't exactly have the uh, healthiest of dietary, you know, fuck er. Mm. I hit X. I hit X and it didn't fucking roll. <sighs> I didn't exactly eat healthy when I was living my own. When I was living in college and, you know, I was going to say enjoying myself, but was I ever truly enjoying myself? Great question. Um, but, um... 
you know, I wasn't exactly eating healthy, but I was eating regularly. You know. And whether that meant going out and getting something to eat or, you know, making something at home, I always had dinner at certain times, you know what I mean? One thing I was never late for was streams. <laughs> well, not any more than the normal, you know, a couple minutes sometimes when I... Ah, fuck her. When I still need to set up my stream title and I can't decide on one or I'm just finishing up playing something or that kind of stuff. Yep, never jumps far enough before. Just kill me, you piece of shit. Just fucking kill me, you fucking white piece of living shit. Fuck you. And I don't mean white like Caucasian. I mean white like, look at the fur, God damn it. I like white people. I am a white person now. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's, it's a bad joke. Bad joke. into it. Actively chose to roll into that fire, that, that ice ball. <sighs> my god, my fucking hands are getting all sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, so, but Sunday right now, because of the busy season, is the only day I get off. Which, personally, I prefer at least two days off, but, you know, as long as I get Sunday off, I'm kind of happy, right? Because that's when, like I said, the, the 1D news stream I watch regularly. They always stream on Sundays, and, you know, it makes it a good day to have off. Fuck you. I'm, you know, it's, it's funny, right? It's... I don't know if it's because I'm currently being damaged or what the reason is, but the problem is I'm, I'm tilting, right? I'm... Hell, I think it's fair to say I've 90%, 90 degree tilted, you know? I am fairly, you know, down the line of tilting. Because I fucking hate this fight. Sure do, sir do we. Yes, sir we. I hate this ability she has that it's fucking rules. the fucking you know, snowballs can't damage her. How did- I would like to point out that I 100% was not in the radius of that shadow. I was in the damage radius that apparently, apparently, you know, just dropping- What the fuck was that?
I also like how both the middle, whatever. Um. Fuck it. Yeah, so it wasn't enough to have, you know, snowballs fall from the sky. They each had to have, you know, they have to have a... They have to have a fucking AoE. Right? Because having them fall and just deal damage in their shadow area... ...was not enough. You know, it had to f do damage in a bigger area than it displayed as, because why else would, you know, you ever fucking... You know, so I thought, oh, you know, I'm out of the reach of the black circle. I'm safe. Right? Safe. 100% safe. No issue. No need to worry about that. I can stand here and do my attack so that I can get in some damage. Because, you know, realistically, I'm not doing all that much damage to her. Right? But no! You know. The fucking snowballs falling from the sky, which, you know, isn't already a fucking form of bullet hell spam. The I know, I use that word a lot. Spam, 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 spam. I don't know, because, you know... It's not like I want to eventually beat Betty. And it'll be happiness and fucking sunshine and rainbows. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm fucking having a bad time. Right, like, you know, I I, I did beat Sans. It took me fucking forever because I was playing it. Like, I never had any time to really fucking do it. So I was just kind of fighting him for like an hour at a time. And then not playing for another couple hours, then fucking fighting him for an hour at a time. And this is in that scenario, though, I imagine I'm not gonna make it another fucking hour without, you know. Let's put it this way. If I boil to the point where I'm going to start, like, smashing something, I'm gonna stop. Because there, I have reached that point before, right, where I'm like, okay, well, fucking time to break my controller, you know. I've never actually broken the controller, but... Mmm, yes. That's death. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I've never actually reached the point where I smashed the controller, I don't think. I don't remember, that's for sure. I do remember, right, I remember once breaking a phone. Because the phone was at the end of its lifespan anyway, I was done with it. And I was very angry at that night, you know. And I was like, okay, well, that's it. I'm snapping the- like, I, I grabbed the phone and I fucking bent it till it, you know, the screen exploded. And little glass shards. No, thankfully, right, I, I'd known the phone was at, you know, the end of its warranty life cycle. So, what the fuck is biting my leg? Stop! And I really wish I knew where one green fucking shrine was. Let's go talk to the squid real quick. Just real quick. Let's go talk to the squid. See if he can't tell us about a green shrine. <sighs> and let's see if we can't get a green shrine and then, um, you know, get that one vitality point we need to get that life up. And, you know, we'll be happy. By some measure of the word. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm
Uh, okay. Hidden path next to an elevator in the center of the cemetery. Screw by submerged beneath the moat in the state of the Iron Witch. Finds the next to the Okay, thank you. Why is that one black? No, this is the map, right? Also, what fucking great bridge? Oh, Started by soul leaving my body. Nothing serious. It's finally free of the mortal coil, and I fucking envy it. For my body lacks, uh, requires the soul, I guess, and therefore, you know. Can the tonics, they just fucking make me suffer without the need for uh, a soul. Which I feel like it's about fucking right for what I'm going through in life, just as a general statement. Nothing specific, just, you know, the fact that I hate it here. <laughs> when by here, I mean on Earth. There's just nothing else. There's nothing that anybody could really do to solve this issue. My investment in inventing space travel and letting me off this damned planet. I don't think I need anybody with me. Just, just want to fucking not be here. I want to see what space is like. Cold, vast, empty, and possibly neat. That's so why I was hoping Elite Dangerous would be done at some point within my lifespan, but, you know, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Get up, up there somewhere. So I'm assuming it's going through that door.
guess if she kept spawning enemies, I could have just kept her alive and, you know, used her for experience. So, eh. They only drop like one experience each, and it would take probably take much more effort to sit there and farm the beetle queen or whatever the fuck the name of that monster would be the hive mother, the brood mother. Who fucking knows? Genuinely, no clue. Okay. Um, let me go back. I don't mind having to. Mm You know what? Let that sit. I can't. Oh my god. <coughs> just, just so you know. Just, you know. So that the, uh, if, you know, you're missing out on what that set of events was, I was, uh, about to say. I'm just gonna get that item. It's over here. I don't mind having to walk back around, you know, whatever. What's up here? I just wanna know. Because I, I don't know if, for example, like this room, right? That room leads out. Right, but not all rooms lead to Rome. Rome's read the room, nor booms beat the bomb. And the point of this step, set of uh, just mild strokery, is that um, I was going to jump down and walk around. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't mind, whatever. And then I fell down on the wrong side, so I had to walk back around. And I just wasn't very happy about it, just to be honest. You know, to explain, um, you know. So that, that's cleared everybody. And now that we've finally managed to get that out of my soul. Get it out! Get it out of my soul! I fucking too slow. Fuck, I hate, hate these fucking levels with no edge. You might as well kill me, bud. You might as well fucking kill me. I don't fucking care. Oh, Brandy, sure shot angry for somebody who doesn't fucking care. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Fuck you too. That's funny, right? I don't remember hearing much about this game when it came out. Right, because I remember seeing it at, um... Whatever the big gaming thing of the year was, right? The one with, um, Jeff Goldblum doing, uh, Jurassic Park stuff, I think. I don't know if that was what he was there doing entirely, or if that was, he was also there, and it was Jurassic Park, because, like, you know, I don't, I don't, not, I wasn't, I'm not a particularly big, well, I like Jurassic Park a lot. One of my favorite movies, right? But I was not a big fan of the Jurassic Park game.
Ugh, I wasn't a big fan of the Jurassic Park games, so I've not even taken a look into the second one. Right? I think I saw somebody playing it slightly. It looks actually kind of interesting, but at the same rate, I don't think it's my kind of game. Uh, Vegas is so bad to video or their spell, uh, you're not holding it longer, will charge your child and cause more damage. Great. I'm sure I'll be using that more often. Because during these boss fights, I have a lot of time to sit there and charge my ability. I also like to point out that, you know, obviously, did not end up, uh, needing, well, I had to end up backtracking through that room anyway, so it was very dumb of me to, um, <sighs> very dumb of me, just that, that's it, that's all I want to say about that one, I don't, I'm not going to continue the statement further than it was just very dumb of me. I was dumb, the end. Which one's the Great Bridge? Is this the one? Should have healed. Probably could have died soon, so. Maybe, 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 maybe. I like how I played so much better with one health than I did with, you know, full health. I think because I'm more willing to make risks at more health. Well, none of those risks ever really pay off. Like, what's the point of a risk that never pays off, you know what I mean? But it still, you know, has an insanely high fucking charge of time and, you know. Oh, I assuming that because it's green. Green. I'm so happy that I have that now. Let's see, how do I get out of here? Where I'm supposed to go. I don't think that's the great elevator. Not the great the great bridge. I think this is the great bridge. No, it's not. This is the peak. The beak peak, if you would. Incense. Smells very strong. Yay. 
That requires a key to open. The keyhole looks very old and rusted. Great. Is that the uh, Twin Tower? Ugh, yeah. I'll switch over here real quick. Because I think between this is the Great Bridge. And maybe there's an elevator near here. There's a secret path right over here. And this would have what I want. Nope. Well, maybe. But it's not what I wanted. And this is more what I was looking for. <sighs> okay, we're gonna stop here for the night because I would like to take the last hour to try to fucking wind down a little bit before I go to bed. Um, thank you all for watching. Do like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitch, it all helps out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Too, we will be well, tomorrow is Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous, but we will be doing more uh, abyssal mayhem, uh, completing friendship quests, and holding everybody's hands and being friends, and then we'll, um, you know, decide what we're doing. Uh, well, then it's back to this. Hopefully that will be the last year of this, and we can move on to possibly the, uh, the Nuzlocke of Diamond, if everybody's interested. Yeah, fuck. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I care if anybody's interested. I think we'll just do it, because I like Pokemon, and I want to be able to fucking beat the game, because I, I find that I don't have a lot of time, and hey, this is my best amount of time to play anything. And a Nuzlocke seems interesting, because I've never actually done one properly, so we'll give it a shot, I guess. Thank y'all, and see ya tomorrow. Goodbye.